Voce Poco Fa from Il Barbiere di Siviglia by Rossini. And who is this wonderful person sitting next to you? This is Ray Wong. <laughs> and what will he do? <laughs> and what will he do? He will play glorious. Oh, he'll be, oh, I see. He'll be your orchestra. Yes, he will. Right. How would you like to do all that again and include everybody? I think it's wonderful practice. You can And think of yourself in front of the local tennis club that's invited you to sing for their rotary luncheon. And they have no idea who you are. They have no idea what you're going to sing. They have very little clue what classical music might be. And so you want to say, I'm Hoodoo Hoodoo, and I'm going to sing Wada Wada, and this is Hubba Hubba, and thank you very much for being here. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Samantha Hankey. My pianist is Ray Wong, and we would like to perform for you Una Voce Poco Fa from Il Barbiere di Siviglia, an opera by Rossini. And should I go into a detail about Oh, this God, no. That was excellent, by the way. <laughs>
Wonderful, beautiful voice, beautiful singing. Um, can you whisper in my ear how old you are? Extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe it. <laughs> right, good. The first thing I want to say to you is, is a technical thing. Mm -hmm. And that is when I watch you and I feel you as another singer next to you, I get a whole bunch of energy that's going down like this. Mm -hmm. And you, that's not your friend. That's not our energy. And it's not our energy even when we talk about breathing low or staying low on the body or having low support, whatever somebody might mean by that, mm -hmm. right? In fact, support can be summed up as essentially the conversation of your ribs staying out regardless of the breathing mechanism inflating and deflating within them. Okay. That's what support. The, most we can, the more we can hold that stable, the more we can, by our thought process, keep the compression of air and ergo the energy of sound constant, mm -hmm. right? That can never happen if we're like this. Okay. It just can't, right? So what you need to do is think shoulders under ears, mm -hmm. ears over shoulders, whichever way you want to look at it, right? The problem, with, the problem with this is that if we do this, you're going to inevitably, your spine always wants to get long. Mm -hmm. And the reason your spine wants to get long is because your spine is the only singular common point of all the ribs. And your ribs, as any singing, any imagination of singing, your ribs are always trying to help you do what you do for your lungs to, to give compression of air, mm -hmm. right? So your body will turn you into a pretzel okay. to realize what you are imagining as a sound. So if we don't help that, in other words, if we're like this, inevitably this is going to go out. Okay. And of course, if you're wearing gorgeous heels like you have on, the tendency will be even, even more of that, and then this is going to happen, this is going to happen, then we see Vader. Okay. It's just a not, I'm exaggerating to some extent. Mm -hmm. I need buoyancy under your arms. Okay. I need lift in the rib cage, right? Mm -hmm. Think this part of your body, the digestive organs, mm -hmm. down. They're, they're, they are down. You don't have to push them down. You're anchored down, right? Mm -hmm. Everything else is up. Okay. So you're just like this. How you just are now are standing, that has to be more comfortable. Now you can control that. It's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit of work. Okay. You might even perspire. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can, your first point of control of that is thinking long spine. I adore okay. the title of Jesse Norman's book. Stand up and sing. Now she might mean something else metaphorically, but not necessarily. Stand up and sing, right? Never sacrifice any of this. This part, your sternum that goes from your chin like this, this point where Pavarotti, the great Pavarotti, says, hey, my voice, mia voce qui, eh, ma. You can put the microphone where you like. My voice is here. I heard this with my own ears, right? Because this line, we don't give. You can do all sorts of things on stage. But that's not one of them, and this is not one of them, and that's not one of them, right? So we just try it again. Just get in yourself. If you feel compelled to take your shoes off, I'm not upset. <laughs> no higher than that. No. Promise me. I'm too tall anyways. <laughs> no, you're not too tall. You're gorgeously tall. It has nothing to do with it. Our bodies are actually not built for this, mm -hmm. right? The, the orthopedic... <laughs> the, okay. The orthopedic insanity of shoulder pads and heels is from Madison Avenue. It has okay. absolutely nothing to do with what we do, right? Mm -hmm. So this is good, and the reason I like this first is because then when you put your shoes on, you say, aha, okay, I need to find that, mm -hmm. right? I'm also a firm believer that our whole foot is on the floor. 
This idea of singing on the balls of your feet is nonsense. Mm -hmm. It pulls you off. Think center, center, center. Okay. And that includes and will include your sound. And just let it be a column of air, right? Okay. Una voce poco fa, ya, ya. Una voce poco fa. Better than. Breathe. Una voce poco fa. Okay. Now, do you feel that right here? Mm. Do you feel that lift? Mm -hmm. I mean, you are born to sing. I mean, you have the architecture. I mean, it was just like somebody said, okay, we'll make her a singer, mm -hmm. right? This distance from your ear to here, mm -hmm. and this lift when you went, oh, in my opinion, should never change. Okay. It has nothing to do with looking pleasant. It has nothing to do with, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it. Okay. Especially not now at your age and learning this. Learn the center of you. All that other stuff will come in productions and whatever else. Right mm -hmm. now, I just want to hear everything that I can as stable as you are. Okay. I always feel in the beginning of the phrase as if I'm singing it while I'm inhaling. Mm -hmm. Rather than, un avo, un avo. You hear how the, how the voice just vibrates naturally? Mm -hmm. This is what you want in this repertoire. Okay. Loose and slide. Wonderful start. Breathe early. Stand up. Now, only think vowels. And interrupt them with the consonants. Yeah. Did you hear how che had more halt to it than the n? Mm. That's already dead. Okay. Right? Okay. One more time. Just think. Think. Inhale. 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 Yeah. Keep it. Keep it. There we go. All right. Now, do you feel how the E kind of starts to go on like this? Mm. Get it straight. Okay. Folks, I don't believe there's any sensation whatsoever of horizontal in singing. It is all vertical. The brilliance of an E is not because you've whitened it, brought it out, shoved it against the back of your nose or your teeth or any other damn thing. The brilliance of an E vowel is because its harmonics are higher than other vowels. Feed the E in a column of vertical air. Okay. <laughs> You know what I mean? mm -hmm. right? One more time. It's, okay. it's going to be vocally easier. I promise you it's easier. Okay. It's going to be physically more demanding. Right? One more time. Okay. And, and by the way, just to include this, this part of the aria is completely for her. Mm -hmm. Nobody's there. She's gotten this letter. She's sort of seen this guy. You know, somebody, wasn't he there yesterday? Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's not here today. Where is it? Oh, the <laughs> Signorina. <laughs> oh. Una voce. One word. I went, oh, my God. And you know that ferito, mm -hmm. the wound? That's Cupid. Yeah? Good. Light and lovely and young. Okay, stop. Where's your energy and weight? It's moving forward. Exactly. <laughs> and you know what? When you've got those on, that this was just kind of pulling you off center. Mm -hmm. When you have these on, your hips are going to go out, which means your, your, your shoulders are going to roll over, and this is going to happen. It's just not necessary. It's just okay. a waste of time. It's this. You didn't hear my explanation at the beginning, so that doesn't mean anything to you, but this is this triangle, <laughs> right? We have to keep, we have to keep what we want to say and how we do it all kind of hooked up together. And the strength of that is dependent upon the weakest part of it, okay. right? And so when we do something physically, it destroys whatever it is that we're thinking we're going to imagine. And the same way the other way, right? Okay, one more time. Oh, no, keep going. Right, hear, hear it, breathe into it. 
you've still got an awful lot of energy going this way. Thank okay. you very much. And you know what really is? Lift the weights. Get under your arms. Mm -hmm. Women especially, the strength under their arms is amazing. Guys get the abdomen thing going. Girls get the side intercostals mm -hmm. very wide and keep them, but stand up straight, okay. right? And by the way, this is not necessarily very much fun in contemporary society, right? There's a lot of reasons for our singing issues today, right? That's one. It takes a lot of courage to be like this, to walk into a room and know that you're a singer, you know, is a bit weird because everybody's <laughs> going to, oh, well, who's he? <laughs> right? Let them ask. If you're going to be a singer, your body is you. Okay. Go again. Bravo. Happy. Now, what is, when was the last time you met somebody named Lindoro? Never. Exactly. <laughs> when was the last time you met somebody named Belmonte? Never. <laughs> This is the world of opera, and you have to, you really have to make these names. Lindoro is like saying Steve, is like saying Thomas, William, whatever you're going to say. Lindoro is his name. Okay. And that should just, the minute we hear her say Lindoro in this young love, it just springs out. And it's exactly that and Cupid's Ferrito that gives us the reason that she tells us that ah, I can be subservient and I can be this, but you know, now that I'm awakened I can be actually quite obnoxious, <laughs> right? Okay, one more time just where you are, then we'll jump. Okay, just to be a real pain, if that lean had more of the aw in it, mm -hmm. instead of lean da, lean da, I would feel better about it. Okay. All the vowels belong to one another. That's the primary difference of singing and speaking, is that when we sing, every vowel we sing has every other vowel that we're going to sing in it already. That's speaking on pitch, mm -hmm. right? That's C and N, right? <laughs> And you've got this by nature. I want to make you aware of that. Mm -hmm. Because the more you build on that now in your studies in this time at your age, mm -hmm. you know, the world's your oyster. I promise you. That's excellent. I am sorry I have to stop. That's absolutely excellent. What I love is standing here and, see, and seeing the inside E all the way up through the middle of her head and just hearing this round resonance that opens to the next resonance, that opens to the next resonance. And now, don't, you never go, ma, not even then. Ma, ma, mo, mo, mi, mo, me, mi, ma, me, mi. Don't pull yourself hard. Do it again, I'll leave you alone. I would prefer you just to hear it first before you breathe into it. Hear what you're going to sing, and take the air you need to make that audible and sing it exactly the way you want it to be heard. Okay. You feel that? You feel that? You know, you're fighting me. Yeah, but was it not different? Didn't it feel higher in sound? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you do it. Yeah, good. Yeah, but don't push. Get yeah. down there, be down there, and then lift out of your waist. You're mm -hmm. anchored and dancing. Right? Lift, 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 lift. There you go. Uh, somewhere? Or anyway, I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Hear it, breathe into it. We hear the difference. Do you hear the difference? Yes. Good. And what do you hear? What do you feel? It's, it's not as passionate. Oh, no. It's very much more passionate. Okay. It's much and more... the way I'm doing it right now without thinking of it. Forget about the passion point. What does your voice feel like? Is it rounder? Maybe even feels darker? Singing with the... Guess what? It's brighter. <laughs> and it's higher. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Bravo. Yeah. 
I would contend to you that we sing physically always ah, sorry, ah, the round one, because it's born of the all oh, and it lives inside the ooh and all that. You can think for clarity in some languages more the cryptic ah, but if you sing ah, right, we sing ah, but we think ah, right? Jurai is horizontal. Just leave it vertical. This has to be easier. It's so much more beautiful. And when you have this as your quote unquote technique, then your imagination can go wherever you want. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. You can have 16 kids with him, you can have no kids with him, you can travel the world, you can do whatever else, you can imagine what his mother looks like, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> right? Stand up. Lift, lift, lift. Good girl. Keep it high. Okay. The raw was better, but the e still went e. There's something about Anglo-Saxon women love to flatten out that e. They think it's brighter because somebody's told them, "Oh well, smile on the e." Nonsense. Smile inside if you're going to smile at all. The E is vertical. The E is the front part of an U. Oh my good, that takes energy. It's the same length. E and U are the same position in vocalism inside your body. The E is just the front side of it. All right? Mm -hmm. It's not E. It's E. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's skip and go to the I a bit. And sing that bit as the first bit as sweetly as you can. And when you come to the ma, right? Mm. Be friendly about it. Okay. It's not a it's not a Ma I'm gonna rip his damn head off if he doesn't love me and I'm gonna tear his bit from limb to limb. <laughs> you hear that all the time. It should be okay. charming. Ma you know, girls are merciless towards men. This aria should be clear to us that regardless of Figaro, regardless of Bartolo, regardless of Lindoro, the person running the show for the rest of all these men's life, and especially Lindoro, is Rosina. I'll let him dance, I'll let him get this. You know. Have fun. And you can smile and stealth the rico. So, Legatissimo. spend a little bit too time, I got, we got to stop here pretty soon, but to me you spend a little too much time phrasing all these little embellishments. They need to come right in tune, not because they need to be in, t in time, mm -hmm. but because they're embellishments on a particular beat. That's what makes them attractive. Mm -hmm. And in the first bit of the aria, I would wait for your embellishments as far into the aria as possible. Sing what Rossini wrote exactly the way he wrote it, in variations of tempo and dynamics, and you'll be much more fulfilled because the man knew more about human nature than all of us put together in this room, right? One more time, start it again. Is this easier f vocally? Yes. Do you feel like you're artificially darkening? Mm -mm. Don't. It is going to feel darker for a while. I, I personally think our, our voices are here. This idea that you take breath and smash something against something that resonates out there, I think is an extremely harmful way to think of your voice. Okay. Right? Just stay vertical. One more time, start the idea. Inhale and think about only inhaling. Up, 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 up. There we go, there we go. The same thing. Mi lascio reggere. Woo! 
guida, guida, ma, ma, and think mo, but sing ma, you'll be home. Okay. Uh, ma, mo, mo. Okay. Okay. Little, 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 yeah. What I don't understand is why you say me, which is wonderful, and then you go me, and then it falls completely out of position. Sing the same E, and the first one's right. Think it. Almost. Me, Better. Lift. Yeah. Stop. Do you feel your energy kind of turn you inside, inside out? See? This is what you're going to work on. Okay. Work in front of a mirror. Mm -hmm. Take this aria back down. You know it very well. You've probably sung it forever. You've won competitions with it. Tear it apart. Take all the consonants out and see what it's like just to sing this aria, just vowel to vowel to vowel to vowel. And let them never enter another resonance room other than the same one, the one before and after it will be. Mm -hmm. And just line it up on the vowels and then start putting this thing and do it in front of a mirror so you're not doing this and all that kind of stuff and just stay straight. Your body wants to stay straight mm -hmm. and you do weird things to it, right? Okay. You're on a wonderful path. You're wonderfully gifted and thank you very much for your trust. Thanks.